This year's Fat Bubble Comics Festival in Leeds was a great year for kids making comics. Let's get a character design lesson from 13-year-old Jordan Vigay, who is manning the Phoenix comic table for a couple of hours. Hello, I'm Jordan, and I'm going to be showing you how to draw ravioli from the red crow. Um, okay, two big eyes. And then I'll draw four lines. Yeah. And like the handy things, I guess, on each corner. And here you can see Ravioli himself, who's featured in the Red Crow comic, published by Jordan. Besides making comics, he features interviews, he's interviewed me once, and we even did a comics jam where we went back and forth making a comic when I was at the Lakes International Comic Art Festival in Kendall earlier this year. You can subscribe to Red Crow Comic at redcrowcomic.com. Now let's meet another comics creator. Jonathan's only 10 years old, but he makes amazing comics. Let's watch his character design tutorial. My name is Jonathan, and I make the Crystal Ball. And this is how you draw Batman, the evil sidekick of the Crystal Ball. You start off drawing a round circle for the eye, and then a dash for the pupil. You do the same on the other side. Then you draw a line in between them, and then for the mouth, and then draw a triangle for a tooth. Then you draw two triangles for the ear, and then you connect them together with the line. Then you go straight down via, straight down via, from underneath the eyes, you come around like that to the feet, and then you come back up, you come around, you come down, and it looks all right, but then you need to have the arms. Like you lie down, line up, and then back around. And then you draw on the other arm, exactly like the, exactly like the, but the arm on the other side. And that is how we call Bam, the evil sidekick. Thanks, Jonathan. This was the first time I'd met him and seen his Crystal Orb comic. Check it out. I love this Cooking with Gollum comic. So awesome. Making friends with Gollum. You can find him on Twitter, at Johnny Tunes. I hope we'll be seeing a lot more work from this guy. Now, you may already know about Zoom Rockman. He's been publishing comics since he was eight. He's 14 now, and the Zoom comic is going strong, and this guy's all set to get better, so keep following him too. Check out the Zoom, and he's got his own website and lots of issues, he even has advertising in it, so it's really a, a viable business option. He's a real hero to a lot of the comics community. He even includes his little brother Ace in his comics. Here's Ace, who was drawing loads of stuff at our table at Thought Bubble Comics Festival. Now, if you're considering drawing your own comics, don't be scared off by these guys. Even though they're young, they seem like pros. Some people were just starting out for the first time. This is Team Ketchup, who put together their very first anthology, and some of them had never made comics before. So it was really great to see them getting stuck in and coming up with a, a published piece of work. Helping kids publish their own comics and run a stall at a comics festival is a great way to build confidence in everyone. And you can ask them how they did it on Twitter at the Team Ketchup. And big thanks to the team at Thought Bubble Comics Festival who made everything run so smoothly. My Jampires co-author David O'Connell and I ran an area called Jampires Present Comics Jamtastic. Together with our fellow Jampires Matt Badham and Molly Bruton, we created a space with tables where families could sit down and make their own comics and drawings. And of course, Jordan and Jonathan made some awesome stuff at the table, including a comics jam which won our competition. One of the coolest things about comics festivals is that kids get to meet the creators of comics which have inspired them and also show them their comics. Creators at Thought Bubble Festival included Adam and Lisa Murphy, Neil Cameron, Laura Howell, Gary Northfield, and it was fun watching Jordan wear a cosplay outfit for uh, James Turner's Star Cat. James was so pleased. It's great seeing comics festivals starting to embrace children. It's a really vital part of the comics community. These people are our future, and they're already making awesome comics. 
If you want to help kids get excited about comics, a great place to start is Neil Cameron's How to Make Awesome Comics. For adults and teenagers, I'd also recommend the Scott McCloud Understanding Comics series. One of the best ways to get kids excited about making and reading comics is to give them a really good selection of, of quality comics. And the Phoenix Comic website has been putting together a shop, and it's including, starting to include books they don't even publish. Um, so it's kind of becoming a one-stop shop for really good kids' comics, which is great to see. And if you'd like to learn specifically about running a comics jam in your, just for fun or in your school, check out the activities section of the Jampires website, jampires.com. Thank you.